What's going on everyone and welcome to Fun Fact Friday. I'm Katerina Contreras. I'm going to be your host for today and one of the most common questions that we get about our pre-workout products, prolific and high volume is, will these make my skin tingle and itch like crazy? Well, the short answer, no. So I'm gonna talk about why some products make you feel like you just wanna rip your face off. So paresthesia is actually the medical term for skin tingling, and it can happen for all sorts of reasons. But in the pre-workout world, it comes from either beta alanine or niacin. Many people actually falsely assume that their skin is tingling because of some type of stimulant they're taking or that your pre-workout is so strong, it just makes makes you itch. However, that's not the case and sorry to burst everyone's pre-workout bubble. Companies want you to think this and that's why they continue to make products with ingredients that will cause that crazy itchy feeling. Beta alanine is actually the biggest culprit and is found in so many pre-workouts despite it having no purpose to be in a pre-workout formula. Well, in our opinion and I'll explain in just a little. Doses as low as one gram of beta alanine can cause your skin to itch and tingle like crazy and beta Alanine is actually a medium to expensive ingredient to formulate with, so some companies will go like the super cheap route and actually put a high dose of niacin instead. Niacin will give that same type of feeling in high enough doses or sometimes an even worse feeling, which is known as a niacin flush, and it just is awful. You, your face will get red and you're just so uncomfortable. So like beta alanine, niacin has zero purpose in a pre-workout powder, which I mean, in our opinion, of course. So if you see in your pre-workout that it has like a crazy amount of niacin, then just know that it's probably only there to make your skin itch and tingle. So we keep saying in our opinion, let me explain why we avoid beta alanine and niacin in our pre-workouts. Well, for starters, we're just not in the business of trying to trick our customers into thinking a product is so powerful that it makes your skin tingle. That's not a thing. Second, these ingredients don't make any sense to us in a pre-workout product at all. We'd rather use ingredients that actually do something to improve the workout you're about to do. I mean, that kind of makes sense, right? And niacin is a B vitamin, which that's great. And it's good to get your B vitamins in every single day, but taking a bunch of niacin before your workout isn't gonna improve your workout in any way. You are just making your skin itch and tingle for no reason. It's gonna drive you crazy. Beta alanine became popular because of all of its human research, but not many people actually stopped and took the time to read what the data says. So. I'm gonna, I'm gonna help you out right now. First, the clinical dose in the majority of beta alanine studies is 3.2 grams, which very few pre-workouts even provide. So if you're taking less than 3.2 grams, then why are you even consuming it at all? Second, all of the strongest research on beta alanine is in chronic use, which means it's taken every single day for many weeks at a time, and then the positive results are seen over time. So if you're only taking beta alanine on workout days, then again, why are you taking it other than making your face itch? It does not have an acute effect and the entire reason you take a pre-workout is to maximize your workout window. Beta alanine does not do that at all. And last, but certainly not least, beta alanine's strongest research shows improvements in endurance. Not muscle mass, not strength, nothing with immediate performance increases. We don't know how many people are taking their pre-workouts before a marathon every day, but I mean, I expect not many. So is beta alanine good ingredient? I mean, sure, if you're training for marathons or endurance sports and you're taking 3.2 grams per day every day and you know the timing of when you take it does not matter and you know that the benefits will not show up in your marathons until you've taken it for so many weeks, then, then yeah. Um, so wait, <laughs> let me ask you guys one more time. Does beta alanine or niacin make sense in a pre-workout? 
So there you have it folks. That is why some pre-workouts have that crazy itchy feeling and why we think that's absolutely pointless and is not actually going to help your workout. Thank you guys so much for joining me here on Fun Fact Friday. And as always, I want you to drop some questions that you have that we can answer. We'll see you next time.